Have they been sued before? This is an update to a story that I had before about an artist who was mentioning, you know, that Nidhi Sanji attempted to threaten her with a lawsuit, attempted to threaten her with, um, you know, being uh, getting damages and stuff like that for confidentiality. And it seems like there was a labor union dispute before with them, possibly, uh, if I'm getting my things correct. And we will take a look at this. Update two. From what was happening with that artist that I mentioned, I think it was a couple days back on my channel, uh, the threatened artist has made some meme videos and revealed she only received half of the payment for settlement in the past. Doesn't have money for lawsuits, etc. So they posted a meme video and the, the previous poster here. Um, basically, the main thing that happened is that Unicreate has a CEO that already has a bad rap with either harassing or causing pain and anguish to other VTubers, to other people, to other uh, people around in his orbit, of, in his sphere of whatever. He's been kind of naughty on that whole thing. He's been an a-hole on that whole thing. And um, this is more proof that Nidhi Sanji really doesn't care about artists. It really just cares about the, I guess, experience that they're having with their peoples, the uh, things that they're having with their peoples. So going through everything, uh, translation of the text in the video, see his cat artist. And the big C, A is Cat Artist, Cat the Artist, C is Cat the Company, A, now I can fully eat well, unpaid money was transferred to my bank account. Let's take a look first at the video. And basically, if, uh, yeah. <laughs> Angry Kitty. Angry Kitty, it's only half. <laughs> I made a meme video. It's a meme video. Huh? Yee. And smack. The smack. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. It's a good video. She's sad. Sad. Sad kitten. Sad kitten. And the lady sound is the one laughing at her, I guess. <laughs> And here we're going to get exactly what she wrote. So basically, A is the cat, C is the company. Now I can finally eat well. Unpaid money was transferred to my bank account. Tonight's a feast. Sushi Yakiniku. What's this? Is this for work? Legal department. It's the company that used to harass me. What do they want now? Uh, we heard the CEO of another company that you've been spreading bad rumors about us. We're suing you. You're right with that? Huh? Cat? The huh part? Uh, 22. Where's your evidence? Like I said, CEO of, do you have a recording? No. What do you mean? I, you use a CEO signature stamp that doesn't show up. I made it so CEO doesn't know. Okay. So that's like what she's assuming has happened with it, with the thing with, uh, with Nidhi Sanji. She's assuming that it's someone that doesn't have CEO's approval going through it. That's a four digit document, screaming cat. That's a screaming cat part. Uh, the 20, the 32 second mark. Don't you need your lawyer's badge? I still have a recording of harassment in which three men yelled at me in the name of the so-called meeting, but I don't have money for lawsuit and too busy for that at 40 seconds. Just got him paid money. And why do I have to go through all this? I haven't done anything and kept quiet, even though I was harassed. You guys only paid me half the amount, even when we settled the case saying you can't pay for a girl's monthly income. Don't bother me at, at 53 seconds. I mean, stop making stuff up again about what I didn't say. You did that during the harassment too, so it makes me feel sick. Are you trying to make me feel, to make me have flashbacks? At one minute mark, it reminds me of the time when I was called to the office and going out for unnecessary reasons. Was not allowed to during COVID pandemic. I still remember you said, do we call you? You made, made me wait outside for an hour in the middle of winter. What the hell are you doing? What was wasting people's time? And then she also mentioned all of this stuff here of the meme video, things that, that happened in the meme video. I just wanted to sublimate the pop entertainment so everyone can not laugh while, while watching. Investors are always waiting. I don't have the money or time court to go alone. And that's that's what she's doing here. Um, and uh, she says, can I also make a video about harassment on Twitter? This is the, the transition. Can we also make a video about power harassment section? The flashbacks are so painful that I've been crying all the time. I hope it's a cat meme so it's entertaining and everyone can laugh at how hard it was. I'm glad you think it was just a myth made up in the internet because the internet is a virtual world. And here's the other things that they had here. Um, power harassment edition. I remember the days when I went crazy due to power harassment I received in the past. And my stomach hurts because I thought I lost it. Even Japanese in the title was strange, so I fixed it. Supplement the entertainment. Haha, -ha, you're in trouble. Just laugh it off. If I don't do that, I won't be able to organize my feelings. And that's where she wrote there. 
And um, basically, TLDR, she threatened artists to make a meme about what happened. The company only gave her half the payment for settlement in the past, called her to the office during COVID pandemic, and made her wait outside from cold for an hour. She's getting flashbacks from trauma. She never, she needs neither the money nor the time for a lawsuit. And of course, do not contact the artist in any way. More harassment from the same person that mentioned the, the harassment before. She mentioned that she was forced to write down her flaws and her colleagues ignored her by order from higher ups. So she was ordered to be ignored by the higher ups in her company. And uh, to post a new video, the artist was forced to attend meetings daily by the company where she got yelled at, verbally abused, told her to write down her flaws and read it out loud. Higher ups ordered all of her colleagues to ignore and kicked her out from Slack and Discord. So she was being ignored um, through the higher ups mentioning it. When she pointed out harassment, they ignored and laughed at her. She developed PTSD and adjustment disorder with diagnosis and went to the labor union. The company had to make a settlement but asked to pay only half the amount. The artist who was going through a lot at the time agreed with the terms of the company proposed because she didn't want to get involved anymore. And here's the things that were mentioned that I saw that we saw earlier. You know, the power harassment, she was made to wait on the cold. Here's the video she made. Here's a, a video she made about like them ignoring her, telling her to not, you know, be it, be a part of it, that type of thing. So she made another meme video about this. And we start again. Translation of the text in the video. The company will be having a meeting. Artists have a schedule. Company have been in 30 minutes to an hour. It's work, so you must participate. Well, if it's short, then I can't attend for long. Legal department and higher ups at 12 seconds. Uh, think about how shameless you are. Think about how incompetent you are. Write, write it down and read it out loud. It's not over until we approve. This is business. Don't think you can earn more than us. You're just a girl who's freelancing. You think you're something, you social misfit. This is education. This is consensus of the company. So they were harassing her according to what she's saying. Um, and that's what they're showing here. And at 26, 26 seconds, which is this one here, uh, that goes through here, this part here at, at uh, 26 seconds, I was called into a meeting where I was just yelled at most of the meeting. Of course, the meeting exceeded the allotted time. When I put it, pointed out harassment, the legal department denies it. And I was forced to attend meetings, which made it feel uneasy at 32 seconds the psychiatrist portion. So she has 32 seconds around here. She goes to a psychiatrist. She mentions everything that goes on. You have PTSD and adjustment disorder. I'll give you a prescription diagnosis. Rest as much as you can now. That's what she's being told here. The pop cat, with the pop cat, that you know to get as much rest as possible. Here, she is being told that I'm bedridden and can't work. I'm freelance, so my income drastically goes down, but the so-called meetings continue. My colleagues ignore me because the orders from higher ups I get yelled at by higher ups and my colleagues ignore me. I get kicked out from Slack and Discord. I'm forced to degrade myself every day. So this is how she's feeling. This is the whole way she's feeling. She's feeling drained. She's feeling like, ugh, she's being ignored. And then we have this big, big boy, this big chunky boy dancing. When I'm going crazy in a manic state, I contact the labor using me. Hello union. I'm being harassed. Uh, I went to court to, and I want a court case. My monthly income keeps going down. I don't care anymore. At 48 legal department and higher ups. Huh? PTSD lies. So at 48 seconds, this is when she tells the labor union at this part, basically telling her lies. Uh, it's true. It's hard. I, that's hard for you. I know that uh, you'll attend a meeting today, too. We will educate you on how useless you are. This is harassment illegal. Nah, it's legal. I'm a lawyer. I can assure you. Hey, legal saying so. So do this lawsuit labor union. Don't you think you got it? Don't you think you got it all with Internet knowledge, girl? Sure. Sure. You want to do it? Go ahead. We are all clean. So they're thinking that they're clean. This is the this is them saying the same thing. These goats, these goats are saying that they're clean. And then uh, you go here, 59 seconds, labor union. We heard it from Ms. Sherikawa, which is the name of the artist. Uh, no, um, labor unions, you forced her to come to office during emergency degradation, declaration, COVID pandemic, made her come with a lawyer and made her leave without discussion. Mo without a lawyer, and, uh, multiple men yelling at young women in a weaker position daily. Uh, the complete harassment, taking advantage of your position and power. Ms. Sherikawa wants to go to trial. Settlement and only half the settlement amount. Me, while being harassed, I was stalked by a listener at the same time and was treated like a tool another by another creator. When turned down, got a death threat and got a hole in my stomach. Oh, you didn't. I'm staying in the hospital now. They want to cut the settlement on money to half. I don't care anymore. I'll accept terms. I don't want to get involved anymore. I just don't want to get yelled at anymore. Me, who kept working without missing a deadline. So basically here she was, being, she was telling them she doesn't want to work anymore. She doesn't want to deal with any of this stuff that's going on. She just wants to be done with this. She just wants to not have to deal with it anymore, which is understandable. It's absolutely understandable. And at 117, me who kept working without missing a deadline, even in the hospital and have turned into the strongest working machine. I'm out of the hospital now and I work hard. Huh? Now another company is not paying for me for work. Yeah. 
So she just stopped. She just kept getting screwed over by Nidhi Sanji and Umi C and Uni Create. Just all bad. I'm always waiting for investors to give me about three million. Sorry if the timeline is a bit weird. It's been rough. She's like she's you know just joking about the three million thing. Three million yen, by the way. And I'm not saying which which company. So don't name the company because it was misunderstood. I'll feel bad about that company. Three million part of her asking people to donate to her so she can sue them. This three million was mentioned before in the tweet. If you want lower the stock price, crowdfund me three million. She did mention that in the tweets below. Uh, this person felt sick making the post. It's very similar to what happened to a certain liver that recently went, that recently left. So it's not impossible for uh, things to happen with like any Nidhi Sanji, any color, doing this type of harassment, doing this type of power power trip, uh, using their power against someone else. It's not impossible to see that. It's not impossible to imagine that. And that is all we have on this story of the artist. For now, there's been a bunch of updates here and there. I've been waiting to see how everything has uh, fully come out. And of course, you know, until we get full confirmation that it is a the lawsuit in Sanji, we're not going to know. But uh, of course, comment down below if I've got something wrong, if you want me to make corrections, if I should, you know, make corrections on um, just putting, you know, words out there saying this is a correction here, this is a correction there. Let me know. Thank you so much as well below as my socials and a video here in front of you to that will hopefully entertain you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. And please, please be kind to yourselves, love yourselves, eat well, and hydrate.